here in the part of Barn Wheelings with Crowback Chicken. So, Lance, are you excited for the gig tonight? Oh, yeah. Very excited. <laughs> Can't you see when they're looking at us? We're really hungry. At the moment, we're just really hungry. Hungry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A bit excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, sure, by the time this is aired, the gig will be finished. But tell us about the, the tour in Texas. That's the next big thing coming up. Christy, what do you tell us? All of Texas. All about Texas. Yeah. Um, Stephen made friends with the BP file. Didn't you? Yeah, well, Twitter friendly. Twitter friendly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, and, uh, cyber friends. Cyber <laughs> friends. Yeah. Not in real time. In cyber time. Since we told you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know actually if it was in real time or in cyber time. But anyway, I just said that just because I think it's funny. <laughs> and then, um, um, yeah, and BP liked our stuff, so he uh, he got Ray Wiley Hubbard to listen to it. And Ray Wiley Hubbard invited us over to Texas, so we said we'd go away over and see. And Ray there. Wiley Hubbard's a big deal in Texas. He's yeah, yeah. Very popular over Yeah. He's like the young Willie Nelson. <laughs> That's what someone says. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so we're going away over there uh, in a couple of weeks and uh, we're going to do some shows with him and we're going to go oh, on the radio. And oh yeah, then we had the Texas dates were all started and we made another friend last September called Alvin Young Blood Heart and uh, he said, come to New Orleans. So he got us two gigs in New Orleans. Yeah. Sorry, so he wanted us. It's a South, South tour now, not just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's only for 17 days, so we can't get to too much trouble. Well, that's what I was saying, 17 gigs. Mm. Uh, well, we'll probably <laughs> yeah. do, do that many by the time we're back, but we have a habit of getting gigs wherever we go, even though we're not planning it. And tell us about that as well, because I mean, the, the main thing people say about Crawback Check is you're a very, very hard working band. Do you, have you counted the amount of gigs you've done so far? Quite well, lots of money. Usually we do 100 a year, but I think we're. Oh, how many this year? Last year we did 115, yeah. So uh, we're this year. Yeah, we're well on the way to be. We passed out 100. Yeah. It's not that many after, though, is it? I mean, it's only. We could do more. Like. We could do more. <laughs> yeah. I think we'll have to really cop ourselves. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not that bad. Yeah, because we played Glastonbury in 2011. We did seven gigs, and we only did four this time. So. Yeah, 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 we're getting a bit lazy. You played after the Rolling Stones, the Sodom thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so they support you. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Much, like, same yeah. stage as well. We played. <laughs> David versus. <laughs> as one, as one guy said to me there, David versus Goliath. David wins. <laughs> <laughs> Great, Thomas. And can you tell us a bit about your music as well for viewers who don't already know you? I mean, obviously, it's kind of rooted in in blues, but there's a lot of different flavors in there. I mean, where are you drawing the extra influences from? So, well, me and Jeff used to be in, in kind of punk bands and metal kind of bands before, so we bring that kind of side of it. We, we, we just jam out in the practice room and we'll bring some of that kind of heavy stuff and Christy, he lists, his son loves Soundgarden and you used to listen to loads of Soundgarden, so it's not exclusively blues that we listen to, so yeah. we're, we like all types of music, yeah, so we'll bring a lot it all. of grunge in the back. Yeah, there's a lot of grunge, yeah. we, like, we really like grunge, so. Yeah, I, I also think that, that we have a kind of philosophy where um, we're willing to kind of uh, branch out into any kind of genre really. It, it's all about expressing yourself. It's not about kind of, oh, I'm going to sit down and write a uh, blues song, or I'm going to write, I'm going to write this really rocky tune or whatever. And, and, and in a way, like even though we didn't set out to make art, it is art. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't it? I know that sounds very pretentious, <laughs> very but I just thought of that there now. Actually, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we find a lot of kind of people are into harder music will come to our gigs and one lad came up to really drunk, he's like, you're where blues meets metal, it's brilliant, so. Yeah, but, yeah. I was, but then you meet people yeah. and they equate you to all sorts of mad shit that you never thought of. But I mean, that's what, when I listen to music, I hear everything in the back. I mean, would you say that's just, it's an accident. that's just the sound of crow black chicken? Yeah, it's just, it's just, just an accident. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not uh, taught out too much. We just jam out in the, in the practice room or make up some riffs and sticks, put the songs together. Like, we're not trying to say, let's get a bit heavier for this album or make yeah. some heavy songs or, or anything. And how is record going on the second album? Yeah, it's going good. So good, yeah, we're, we're doing it different this time. Last time was all live, but we're tracking the songs this time and we're even, we, we were able to use a metronome, we didn't think we'd ever be able to use that, but yeah. it's fine, like, so it's going really well, yeah, we've four done, we're recording another four in a few weeks and released sometime early next year. Okay, cool, yeah. So we've got a name for it or any other details for us? No name, no, 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 we're going to play about five songs after tonight anyway, so okay. you'll hear them. So anyway, listen lads, thanks very much. We'll try and get a couple of recordings from the gig tonight. And I wish you all the best in Texas. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs> Come
competition this week is very, very exciting. Um, we've got a post on Facebook and we've got a tweet on Twitter. So, someone, lucky, randomly selected person who shares our post or retweets our tweet will win two free guest passes to see Low in Wheelands on August 20th. This is a fantastic band and a great chance to see them for free. So, check here for further details. That's all from us here in the White Lady, so please subscribe and tune in next week.